often than not, when you treat your eyebrows, you're trying to get a very manicured, very clean line. But sometimes it's not the look that you want. Sometimes the look that you want is a very healthy, very full look, but not manicured. The sort of look that you have when uh, you haven't done anything at all. They just look nice. And that's what we're going to try to do today. This is a real short demo, um, but we're going to begin by taking that brush, as you can see, and sort of rolling it up and through the hairs on the eyebrow, um, bringing it up and uh, separating those hairs, lifting them. The, the, the goal at this point is to expose any of the, the small gaps that you might have in, in your own eyebrow uh, so that you can reach them when you go to apply color. Uh, also, we're separating those and we're lifting the lines a bit so we can see what the hair looks like in its natural state. Also, Jane's gonna do something here that's probably a bit different than, than uh, you're used to doing. She's gonna use two different colors of eyebrow pencil. Um, she's using a darker color, which is sort of a neutral brown, and then she's selected another color that has a sort of a reddish tinge to it. As you'll notice, her hair is uh, a couple different colors, and, and uh, her hair is, is really obvious that it's two different colors. But even if your hair is, is a single color, the fact of the matter is there are a lot of variations in tone. And if you want to replicate a natural look of hair, you have to recognize that there's more than just one color. This is why when someone dyes their hair black, for instance, you can always tell it's been dyed black. It's just a solid black and there's no variation of tone. But in natural black hair, there's a lot of variation. So she's doing um, a replication of that by varying the tone a bit between a darker and a lighter color. Now, as she applies the color, see she's switching there to the next color. This is a lighter color. She applied the first color along the brow, the shape of the brow, but she didn't completely fill in all of the gaps. She left a few gaps here and there, and she's coming back and she's filling those in with the other color. So what happens is you get this sort of variation of color on the skin uh, underneath the brow. It fills in the entire brow area, but it changes color a bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, from one area to the next and that replicates what your natural brow actually looks like. Now what she's done filling in all these areas she's going to start to come through that with this brush as you see here and she's going to do the same thing she did earlier she's going to pull that brush up and through rolling it a bit she used a cream pencil and the reason that she used that as opposed to a pencil that might give a, a more powdery uh, substance is because that cream will stand up a bit better to this brush and it will stay where she put it so as she drags the brush through it's going to pull a little bit of the uh, eyebrow pencil out and it's gonna separate what remains there into what really look like individual hairs. Now, what she's done with that, she's gonna go onto this angled brush. This is a very fine brush, and she's gonna apply eyeshadow onto the eyebrows. But what she's gonna do is she's gonna wet the brush a bit first to make that eyeshadow a bit more stable. It'll stay where it is. It turns it into really like a cream. She's gonna take a bit of that water off on her hand and uh, now she's gonna go to the colors. Now notice she's not taking just one color again, she's taking two colors. And it's a bit difficult to see here, but she's picking up color, a lighter color on one side of the brush, and then she's picking up a darker color on the other side of the brush, and she's not really mixing them into one color. What happens then is when she goes to apply that on the eyebrow, she gets light on one side of the brush, dark on the other side of the brush, and it really then does start to look like individual hairs, lighter and darker hairs, and they sort of mix in a bit with the natural hair. This creates a very natural look, and that's of course what you're going for. Anytime you can replicate what your hair would naturally look like, what your skin would naturally look like, it's going to look better than if you just sort of draw on uh, the shape of an eyebrow. It's always gonna look like you just draw an eyebrow on your head. But if you can replicate what's naturally there, and notice how the brush stroke that she's doing here does that, it creates what really look like hairs. It's a very simple technique, and it's something that you can practice a bit, and, and with a bit of practice, you can get very good at it. You take that brush, and you put some pressure on it when you first apply the brush and then you lift the brush and move it at the same time. Lift it away from the skin and move it. And what happens when you start to lift it, it allows only the finest bits of that brush to leave color on your skin. And that creates that sort of heavier at the bottom, lighter as it goes out shape that is natural to your eyebrow hairs. And so that creates, using the brush, the brush is really doing all the work here, 
creates the look that you're going for. And notice how it's already starting to look like your eyebrows are a bit thicker, um, uh, bushier even, and a bit more out of control. Uh, they're not so refined and, and so um, so manicured, but uh, they are a bit more out of control. Now she's going to do that along the entire length of the brow. She's going to fill in uh, the areas where there's a bit of gap here and there between her natural hairs and her eyebrow. And she's just going to continue that, cleaning up the edges uh, when she needs to, as she did just there. And once she's satisfied with that, and you can see what it looks like now, stop whenever you need to, take a look at it, make sure it's the way you want it to look, make sure the colors look right, make sure everything's fine. You're going to come back in with that brush and you're going to roll back through it. And this is going to do um, a bit of uh, touch-up work. It's going to take out anything that really looks like a brush stroke, anything that's a bit too heavy, and it's going to break it up a bit, and it's going to blend it a bit more. It's not going to blend it completely into one color, but it's going to blend it a bit more, which will give you even still a more natural look and a smoother and um, more refined look without becoming manicure because that's of course the the complete opposite of what we want we don't want that manicured look we want that sort of fresh and fun and you're at the beach and it's summertime and and you just really don't care um, but you look fantastic anyway so again she's going to go back in she's going to touch up here and there on both brows she's going to take a look and make sure she's satisfied with one before she moves on to the next now at this point she really is done with this look so we're just going to step back and we're going to take a look at uh, the finished product and there you have it natural summer brows thick full and healthy by Jane Eyre. From all of us here at Jane Eyre Photography, we'll see you next time.